Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, the Basera family. Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a blessed and a beautiful day today. I just wanted to share with you guys today. We are at my sister-in-law's house uh, and my brother-in-law's house. Uh, I know we're here a lot and you know what? That's something that I like about our family is that uh, we're Wendy's side of the family and you know, we're very close and family oriented. So it's a bond that we have, you know, I'm always glad that I could come to uh, Lulu's house and Rogelio's house and you know, we're always welcome there. And you know, now that we have kids, you know, I feel like that bond has greatly, you know, grown a lot. I'm always happy to come down here, you know, spend a little bit of time with them and vice versa, you know, like they always got a home over there when they come by Palmdale area. Something that I'm always proud of is that like my my mother-in-law, my uh, my suegra, Mrs. Queenie Trini, she's always uh, having us, you know, be close as a family and that's something that I'm really proud of. You know, I like that I could come and I feel like comfortable, you know, being at her home, you know, like sometimes when you have family, it can be a little like of a gray area, you're there, but you know, you're not really there. You know, they, there's like boundaries or you feel kind of like sometimes awkwardness. And I like that we don't have that, you know, that Wendy and Lulu have like that good sister bond between between them. And me and Rogelio, like, even though we're very different, you know, as far as like how we grew up or our, our ideas or even like how we talk, you know, we are very, uh, we get along very good. I don't really speak good Spanish and, you know, he doesn't speak good English, but that doesn't, you know doesn't make us distant from each other we can always like communicate we can always like you know come up with a conversation and i like that you know regardless of our differences it never gets in the way it never you know destroys that bond between us that's just something i wanted to share with you guys but uh, i'm running a quick errand like i said we're here at their house and after we picked up emma from school we came straight over here we uh we took the kids to the pool because they love it. They love seeing their cousin Catalina. And right now uh, I'm heading back to the house. We're gonna go meet up with some people and uh, I think you know them already, Ricardo and Edis. They're gonna be joining us there at the house as well as Gabby and Gabe are gonna be joining us as well. And we're gonna go and eat some, I believe some shrimp is what we're gonna go have right now. And then later on, we're gonna watch the movie Doctor Strange. I don't know if you guys seen that movie. If you've already seen it, comment down below what your thoughts are on the movie. I'm excited to go see it right now. And it's kind of weird because we didn't really care about watching Doctor Strange. We saw the Marvel, uh, the sequence, like the way they're supposed to go. But the movie we skipped was Doctor Strange. It was just something that never caught our attention. Wendy and I were just like, man, you know what? It's kind of it's gonna be a cheesy movie, or we weren't really into into like attractive of, of watching it. It didn't catch our attention. So we saw it two weeks ago, and it, we ended up liking the movie. Like we were just like mind blown, like wow, like it's not what I expected. That's All sure. right, so now it is later in the Mama. night, and we're about to head out to go what get some do? food. Where are we going to, babe? It's like boiling crab, come on. Uh, you know the shrimp in the bag? Cajun shrimp. So. We're gonna go to one, but yeah, it got late and it's already gonna close. We found another one called Blazing Crab. A ver qué tal. So we just got here. Ya tenemos demasiado hambre. Ya es casi las ocho y media de la noche. I left Wendy to go put her name down because we're a bigger party and get, you know, I wanted her to get a head start on that. Noah. Unfortunately, he knocked out it. And Emma's here. But oh yeah, ahorita vamos a salir a comer ahorita. Every time we come and eat, you're guaranteed to use like three lemons. Ah, huh, babe. I'm not a lemon. Please. No. Fries came in. You like it, babe? Time 
has arrived for the pregnant girl to eat her food. Oh, that looks so good. And what you guys get, bro? Dude, I thought we were gonna get a little bit look. But they don't put about four people right there, man. The aftermath. Wendy, you eat it all? All in here. This is how the battlefield looks like after. All right, so yeah, nos salimos de comer los mariscos. I don't know whose grand idea this was to go to the movies at las once de la noche, chica. Pero aquí andamos. No, I had already fallen asleep, and Emma's tired too, and my sister didn't want to come with Rogelio, so. Cuando nos venimos, como que we're like acting like we're all young and shit, but girl. At, at, like, in the moment, it was like a good idea. Like, in you know moment, what? It sounded fun. We're like, you know what? We're still young, you know? We can hang out with the jovencitos, you know? And hang. Pero, like, man, we're gonna go give me, like, a nice coffee. Like, the latte or no sé qué, un Starbucks can. But, girl, like... Because mm -hmm. it is literally 10.30 right now. Pero aquí estamos en el Walmart. Llegamos, like, at maybe, like, a... A little crunch, the little crunch chocolates Ugh. that we like, and uh, pues. So this is a new um, Doctor Strange movie, and we love our big Marvel adventures fans. But uh, like eleven in the night, no much. <laughs> like we thought we were young and hip, and turns out we are not. No. Pero I can't. So we'll see if it's any good. It better be worth it. And these movies are like two hours long, so we're not gonna get out to like one in the morning. It is what it is. We used to do it at the club, babe. You know, like six Ooh, years ago. Come on. You have to go to a club right now, but like, hell no. <laughs> Take a rain check, huh? Let's go. Let's go. So we're just gonna go with these ones porque normalmente we get the one with the box, mm -hmm. pero no tienen. So we're just gonna have to like you know Mickey Mouse it, just cut them up in pieces and eat them with the popcorn. Wendy, you go all to red vines. You want these too? Uh, I'm more like maybe sour. sour patch, not sour patch. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, pues, pues yeah, no, vámonos, baby. Let's get the coffee and let's go. So if I'm gonna make it until one in the morning, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go with one of these. Which <laughs> <laughs> coffee for me? No, not for me, man. I usually like the little double shots, but no thing. And then you're gonna make me drive? <laughs> for sure. <you're> driving. <laughs> Afterwards, one of these, you know, just safe, better safe than sorry. Pure sugar. Get the double shot right there. That's too much coffee. Mm, that's we secure the purse. Aquí no hay nada, no pasa nada. Hopefully, no me dicen nada, pero pues. She's uh, trafficking. We usually always take in snacks and stuff, pero. Just gonna go in like this, así no pasa nada. Man, it's crazy how, like, before, like, when we were younger, you know, like, 20, 21, 22, we used to be, like, about, all oh, this pregame, you know, and we'll be drinking, like, chugging, like, little botella de Smirnoff or no sé qué. You know? And now, like, we're not even doing the alcohol. Now we're, hey, we got a pregame and freaking get the caffeine going so we can make it to one in the morning. Literally. <laughs> it's crazy how times have changed, huh? Well, here, cheers to all the parents. It's not a good idea to be shaking it around. Cheers to all the parents like us that want to stay up to one in the morning <laughs> watching a movie. Don't recommend. <laughs> Don't recommend it, but you know what? YOLO, right? Cheers, babe. Because we're still young and hip. Hey, we're still in our 20s, so technically, yes. A mí me quedan two years yet, yeah, one to be in our 20s. Yeah. Damn. Now you turn 29 September, September babies. Yeah. 28 in October, so my last year as a 20 in my crazy. You've known me for almost 10 years, and mm -hmm. I met him when I was 18, now about to turn 19. Well, cheers, and we'll see you guys inside the theater. Bro, the movie just finished, and it is 1 30 in the morning. Damn. Hella tired, man, but uh, we're about to head out back to Lulu's house. It's a 45 minute drive, so we gotta pick up the kids. We're almost in Chingay, and hopefully, we can get some sleep.